Getting a new PC is often a very exciting process, whether you're building or buying one. You get it all set up on your desk, punch in your Windows key, and you're greeted with the default Windows background. There are so many possibilities, but what do you do? Well today, I'm going to tell you about my top 5 applications to download that will enhance your PC experience. I've picked a range of apps that I genuinely use on a daily basis, and get this, they're all free. So I'm going to try and throw in some apps that hopefully you haven't heard of. If you do end up downloading any of these, or you just find it useful, make sure you drop a like. It really helps me out. And if you want to see more tech content and content like this, make sure you subscribe. It's free and it really helps me out. It takes two seconds. With that said, let's get into it. Kicking it off with number five, Translucent TB. This is number five as it's only really for aesthetics. It serves no purpose other than looking cool. You can download this one from the Microsoft Store. It's super quick and easy to set up. It's nice and simple and it pretty much explains itself. It makes your taskbar translucent. Moving on to number four, we have Specky. I'll link this one down below. This is the only performance monitoring app that we have today. And don't worry, I'm not gonna give you five different ways to see your CPU temperature. But it's important that you have at least one. If you've just got a new PC and you're looking to monitor temps and speeds, it goes into so much detail on every single component in your PC. Number three is taking us back to the Microsoft Store for Ear Trumpet. This is the most recent discovery on the list, but I wish I'd found it so much sooner. This allows you to quickly and easily monitor the volumes of different programs that you have open. You can also switch audio sources on the fly, and of course you can change your master volume. This comes in clutch for those times you're on a Discord call with people with the quietest microphones in the world and you've already got them cranked all the way up. I've had this for about two weeks and I've used it so many times already. Before we get to number two, I do have an honorable mention. I did originally want to include this on the list. There's just so many videos out there now and it's so well known, it just didn't fit in with the rest of the list. Of course, it's a wallpaper engine. This is another purely aesthetic program and you actually download it from Steam. If you've been living under a rock and you don't know what it is, it just allows you to set some really cool moving or audio reactive wallpapers. You've probably seen it a million times by now, that's why I left it out. But I couldn't at least mention it. Because if that one person in the world who hasn't heard of it watches this video, then you're welcome. Moving on to number two, we have Lightshot. This is incredibly useful. I actually made everyone in my office at work download this. You download it, you set a hotkey, and boom. No more print screen. It allows you to highlight a part of your screen and either copy and paste or save it as a picture. After I built my new PC recently, this was the first thing that I downloaded. It's such a lifesaver. If you do get one thing from this video, at least get this. It's one of those things where you don't know you need it until you've got it and then you can't go without it. So at number one, we have Aquasnap. If you're like me and you've always got 50 windows open at a time, you've got Spotify, you've got YouTube, you've got Discord, so many windows open. This is a productivity tool which helps you organize and manage your windows, all from your keyboard. You don't need to touch your mouse. There is a paid version of this, but don't bother. The free version is just fine. It comes in particularly handy when I'm doing research for university I've got a Word document, a recorded lecture, and like a million Chrome tabs open. But that about wraps it up. These are my top 5 applications to download on your PC. I didn't want to give you stuff that you're going to use once every 3 months. These are all free, with the exception of Wallpaper Engine, and they'll all be linked down below. If you ended up downloading any of them, let me know down below. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one.